So we are going to make a teddy bear figurines and the ingredient needed is of course fondant. So we have four colored fondant which is the brown, red, white and black. So the in that is the ingredient. The tools needed are the rolling pin, miniature ball tool, the knife tool, small brush, petal dust in pink or the one I'm using here is poppy red from CK, edible glue or water, and a flower plunger. This flower plunger you only need it if you're making the teddy bear into a girl teddy bear. So we start with the body first. Well, when we want to do a teddy bear figurine, the most important part is the uh, body, which is the center for you to measure how big or how long the leg and hand should be. So we we'll start compacting the brown color fondant first. Take out a good amount of what are the size of the body you want. First of all, compact it first, about this much. This is how I usually compact it. I press it down hard and then roll it into a nice ball which doesn't have any creases or fine lines. Okay, on and off you have to check it. See, nice, no fine lines. Little bit shiny also. The same ball, we make it into a teardrop shape. So how you do a teardrop shape, put your hand into a V shape and just roll it like this. Check, open it and check how long the teardrop that you want. For the teddy bear, we just want about this much. Okay, make sure it can sit nicely on the cutting mat. Next, what we require is the leg. Take about this much of fondant and divide it into two. Same thing, compact it. Make sure both are the same size because that's going to be the leg for the teddy bear. If one big, one small, it will look really funny. Okay, almost the same size. Now, the next step is to compact the ball. Same thing, whenever you want to create something, a new part, you have to compact the ball well. And now, let's start. We have to create a long teardrop shape. Same thing, put your hand into the V shape. Long teardrop shape, about this much. Use your pinky. Roll left, right, left, right. Like this and then from this part itself this is where the the fit is going to be so we're going to press this down and push it up from the back here pull back a little bit just pinch a little bit back that is the knee of the teddy bear now when it comes here you have to roll this part to make it more smooth there you go the leg of the teddy bear Measure again, see if the shape is correct or not. Is it too big or too small? Is it on proportion? This one looks fine. Now the next one. Same thing. Left and right. Teardrop shape. Push it back. Pinch back. Touch up. Roll the ankle part. Just take it out again, see if it's the same size or not. Both has to be the same size. Okay, nice. Measure again. Nice. Now before you continue, we'll just take a edible glue or water. Just dip your brush into it. Just very little bit of glue or water. That's it. Don't put too much so that it stick well and dry fast also. Very simple, just put these two legs stick it to the side make sure your teddy bear is still sitting upright and not fallen to the back okay next to do a little bit of detailing for the leg part we use this um, knife blade just press down a little bit to create the lines where the paw comes okay and a little bit of white fondant This is where all the detailing comes in. Little bit of water or edible glue at the pore area. 
make a small ball same size in two two small ball same size we press it flat okay then we stick And then another three small balls. Same thing, just stick and press it flat. Don't mind my dirty thumb. Yeah, that lady didn't stand there actually. That's Chef Evan who just suddenly interrupted us. <laughs> create the belly button just press in to create the indent one shot that's it now it's the time where we create the head part yeah brown color fondant before we proceed let's measure the size first take about this much of ball uh, fondant and make it into a ball measure first how big the head should be it always goes by feel if you feel that this is too small just increase the size of the fondant if you think it's too big then you just reduce it for this i think it's slightly too small so i add a little bit more fondant same thing compact it measure again I think this should, should be perfect. Okay, now put it on the table. And gently press it flat. Just a little bit. Just gently. Okay? And then now we want to create a snout for the teddy bear. White color fondant. Just very, very small. Yeah, very, very small. This might be too big also. Create even a smaller one. Press it flat, about this much only. Put a little bit of glue and then stick it right below the face. This is where the snap will come in. Now before we add in any other detailing, this is the time where we add in the eyes. I want to make it look really cute. So two small eyes using black color fondant as small as possible yeah or oh, to be smaller create two same size first before you stick it same thing you don't want the eye to be one big one small okay about this much and stick Adjust a little bit using your brush. Okay, next thing. For the nose part, use the bigger side of the bottle. This is the, just now the very small one. This is the bigger one. Just give a very small indent right in the middle. Same black color fondant, we want to create the nose. So how big the nose should be, it all goes by feel as well. About this much and stick. Can you see that the whole feature comes out already by now? Okay. Now let us continue. Create a small line right in the middle. 
and a smiley. Where's oh yeah, smiley too. I have the line got. Okay, this is the miniature to the smiley indent. Just press it all the way down here to give a small gentle smile for the teddy bear. The line got crooked a little bit. Okay. The next step is to place the head onto the into the body. Now we have to use the skewer. Sorry, forgotten to introduce the skewer and the plier. Straight in the skewer, 90 degrees straight into the body, all the way down until you touch the base. And then about one centimeter above the fondant, above the body, you just chop it off. And then this is where the head comes from the center. Just gently skewer it in. Don't push it in. Just gently skewer it in. Okay. After that. Now the next step is to create the ear for the teddy bear. Two small ball. Again, make sure it's the same size before you put it in. About this much. Oh, this is too big. Okay, using just now the same ball tool. Place one ear first where you want it to be using the same small tool, uh, a ball tool. About this much, I want to place it. This ball tool, just press it down. There you go. One more time. About here, the ball tool, press it down. Okay, this doesn't stick. So if it doesn't stick, you have to put edible glue or water. If it sticks, that's the best. Okay, again. Just press it down. There you go. Okay, last part, the hand. Very simple. Same thing, take a good amount of fondant about this much, divide it into half. Very similar to how we do the leg part. But this time a little bit lesser compared to the leg. Mm, okay, this is too small. I add a bit. Okay, about the same size. Now, the first up, Same thing, teardrop shape, but this time I want to flatten it a little bit. Okay, same thing with the other. Oops. Teardrop shape, flatten it a little bit. How you know whether it's the right length or not? Just measure to the body. It has to be from the neck until we reach the leg part. If it's almost the same length, that's how much you want. Use a. Oh, where's mine? The next step is to um, draw out where's the thumb and all. I won't cut out the whole paw or the fingers, I'll just draw out the thumb. So I just cut out one part. That's it. That's enough. Touch up a bit, make it slightly more roundish. Another one. Uh, one is here, one is here, so here. Make sure you got the thumb at the right side. Okay, touch up a little bit. Okay, very simple, just stick it to the side of the body. Edible glue, both sides. I'll not make too fancy one. Just very simple. I just bend this a little bit. The hand, it was like this, right? We just bent it like this a little bit. Just stick it. Hold for a while until it doesn't fall. Just hold. 
once you release your hand if it doesn't fall that means you're good to go next one same thing just bend it a little bit and stick hold until it doesn't fall Okay, now in this position, the daddy bear looks like it's holding something. So you have to insert something right here. It's either you cut out a love shape, maybe he's holding a love or a book or a bouquet of roses. It's up to you. Okay, so in just for example, I'll just make him holding a love. I'll use the plunger. Love shape plunger. I'll roll out the fondant, red color fondant. Use the plunger and cut it up. Stick a little bit right here. The best if you have a bigger one, I don't have, so I'll just use a small one here. Okay, now this is for a male teddy bear. So what you do if you want to make it into a female, this is where the flower plunger come in good use. Chop it out. Release it, pick it up, put it just right above the ear, little bit of white fondant, insert it into this small cavity. There you go. And if you want to make it even more cuter, let's put a little bit of blusher petal dust like how you usually put blusher if you are a female just on the cheek just brush a little bit very gently we don't want a very drastic look like a dracula later just a little bit hint of pink can you see the difference between this side and the other side yeah, just a little bit of petal dust makes such a big difference. Same thing, the other side. Until you get an even one. So, see, now we are finished. This is how we do a teddy bear male and female version. So, of course, the last one is a female version. Okay, thank you.